I'm Jonathan Knight, a pastry instructor at Scoffier. Today, using the pie dough we made from the last video, I'm going to show you how to roll out a pie crust, as well as explain how to take care of your rolling pins. So the first step is to cut off a piece of your dough that's going to be enough to fill your pie crust. This recipe makes about three pie crusts, so we have a small portion of dough. From here, it's kind of an odd shape. So I'm actually going to push it together and try and make a shape I can work with. Think hockey puck if we're going for something, something round. Uh, if you start round, it's a lot easier to end round, or at least closer to round. So this is my starting piece. From here, I need to flour my table. Now there's a very common way that people flour table. They grab the flour and they throw it on like they do on TV. It's not the most effective way. What you're going to do is you're going to pick up a whole bunch, take your hand above, and then sprinkle it across your bench. And this gives you a more even layer across the entire way. Now I put a lot down because I have a slightly sticky dough. If your dough is very, very dry, you can put a little bit less. So that's what I'm starting. Take it from the table, put it on top, and I'm ready to start rolling. From here, I have two choices of rolling pins. We have an American rolling pin, and that's characteristic by it being very big. It's usually very thick, and it runs with a pole that runs in the middle, and it's on ball bearing, so it spins. This gives you a lot more power, and it's a lot easier to work with. But if you're rolling something really large, you end up getting cuts from where these corners are into your dough. That's why I prefer a French tapered rolling pin. So it doesn't have the wheels. I've got to move it with by myself, but I can get a more even dough. The taper allows me to work with one small section, and when I'm rolling it out, it has a lift away instead of a cut in. So I can work on different parts of dough without having really thin spots. So here, make sure it can be moved. Roll it back and forth. Give it a turn. Roll it out again. Constantly turn your dough. The reason we constantly turn it is it stops it from being stuck to the table. If I forget to turn it, I can end up getting the moisture all the way through and then I can end up having to cut my dough to get it off the table. So from here, we keep moving back and forth, give it a little bit of a spin, get all that dough out of the way. And if I find that the top is sticking for me, I can grab a little bit of bench flour, put it on the dough, or I can grab it and put it on my rolling pin, either way. Roll it out. And we're really aiming for a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch is a standard um, thickness for doughs, because that gives it enough crust for the layers that we want to be seen, as well as having enough for them to uh, have some flavor and some actual structure inside. So here we are. It's not perfectly round, and it's OK. Whenever we're doing anything, if my pie shell is 5 inches big, we want to have 5 inches plus the 2 inches for the side and an inch for the gap. So that way we have our bottom, our walls, and a little bit of hangover because this pie dough, when you bake it, it shrinks in the oven. So from here, I would just fold it in half, pick it up, and lay it in my pie shell. So move that. Once you're done using your rolling pin, you want to clean it immediately to help with the longevity of your rolling pin. The easiest way is to use a wet rag, which in kitchens we keep right underneath our table. You pull it off, and you just go down in as one big long motion as you can. So then this gives me a clean rolling pin, and I let it air dry. One thing you never do is put a rolling pin into the dishwasher. You've lost your rolling pin. Uh, if you start using it, if you use it a whole lot and you start getting a lot of nicks and scratches on there, take some fine grit sandpaper and you just sand it down a little bit and then re uh, reseal it with some food grade mineral oil. So that's how we roll out a basic pie dough and take care of rolling pins. Thank you for joining me.